Okay, so here I'm going to present about um, negative prefixes and um, something that we learned in chapter one is that we learned about word families and what this basically means is that we just learned that by adding a suffix to the end of the word we can change its function or change whether it's a noun, a verb, an adjective, an adverb. Um, just to review, one of the examples that we had was deny, it's a verb. If we change, if we add the suffix il, denial, then it's a noun. If we add deniable, the suffix able, deniable, then, then it's an adjective. And if we add deniably, the li, then it becomes an adverb. Um, again, suffixes um, occur at the end of a word. And today we're going to learn about um, negative prefixes. And prefixes occur at the beginning of a word. Um, and the ones we are going to learn today are negative, meaning that they turn it into the opposite. So, deniably is something I can deny. Um, undeniably is something I can't deny okay so this becomes the opposite it becomes negative like not deniably undeniably um, today we are going to learn about seven of these and I will introduce one more that the book doesn't talk about just because three of them happen those three happen to be part of the same family um, we're going to learn un which means not in which means not er which means not dis which means not de, which means remove, take away, miss, which means wrongly, and anti, the bottom, which means against. Again, these are prefixes, and they are added at the beginning of a word to negate, make negative its meaning. Um, we'll start with un, and this means the same as not, unexplored, unkind, unhappy, untrained. And if look at this boy here, he's hitting this boy. He's not kind. He is unkind. Okay. And then we have in. Um, there are three in, er, and im, and these are actually the same one. Um, I'm going to explain why in a little bit. Uh, in means the same as not, um, like inorganic incorrect, inexpensive, ineligible, and this in, um, look at this, it's very cheap, it's 80 cents a month, it's not expensive, it is inexpensive, okay, then we have er, and this means the same as not, irresponsible, irresistible, irrelevant, irrational, um, look at these macarons. Um, you must eat them. You want to eat them. Um, they are irresistible. You cannot resist eating them. All right. Um, and just irresistible means I, I want to eat them and I can't stop myself. Okay. So that's irresistible. Um, then we have im. This means the same as not, impractical impossible, immature, immobile. Um, look at this picture of this man um, and this big plane. And this man is pulling this plane with his legs and his arms. This is not possible. This is impossible. Of course, now let me talk about im, er, and in. In, er, and im are all the same one. They're basically in. Um, and what happens is that we have in, and it works with all vowels in our co all consonants, like inorganic, incorrect, inexpensive. Um, but if we add into a word like responsible, we add into it, then the R sound is taken here and it becomes irresponsible. See, all these are R beginning words. Responsible, resistible, re relevant, rational. We don't say irresponsible, we say irresponsible. The, the R sound affects this sound here. And the same thing here. 
im. It's the same in, but here it's it changes. Um, look at these sounds: practical, possible, mature, mobile. This m and p we make the sound with our lips. Possible, mature, and that affects this sound here. It's not impossible anymore. It's impossible. All right, so just I added that if you you know for your self edification. Um, then we have dis. This means the same as not, like distrustful, um, disagreeable, disposable, distrustful, disloyal. And look at this man's nose. It's very long. Can we trust him? His nose is as long as Pinocchio's. He's not trustful. He is distrustful. Now we have de. And this means the same as remove and take away. Deforestation. Deactivate, decode, deflate. Um, look, the forest, it was cut down. It was taken away. The forest was removed. This is deforestation. Okay. And then we have miss. And this means wrongly. The same as wrongly or badly. Misunderstand. Misfortune. Misbehave. Mistrust. And here we have this mom, and she's very upset because her children are behaving badly. They are behaving wrongly. They are misbehaving. Okay, and then we have anti. This means the same as against. Anti-aircraft, anti-social, anti-viral, anti-body. And look at this lady. She's wearing an antiviral face mask. It's a face mask against viruses. Okay, so these are my negative prefixes. Again, a prefix begins at, is put at the beginning of a word. Okay, and the examples that we did today were un, in, er, dis, de, mis, anti. Un means not, like unkind, not kind. In means not, like inexpensive, not expensive. Er means not, like irresistible, not resistible. Dis means not, like distrustful, not trustful. De means remove, take away, like deforestation, like take away the forest. Then we have miss, wrongly or badly, like misbehave, or behave wrongly, or behave badly. And then we have anti, which is against, like antiviral, against viruses.